the way customers shop online for new and used vehicles is different and you can take advantage of these habits. The individual vehicle on, on the used car side of the equation is, 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 is the most important thing. The car is truly the star. So mm -hmm. merchandising that vehicle, telling that vehicle story, all of those things are very important. Um, but what we saw, you know, we started making some investments both in the research side and then also looking at our own consumer behavior. Mm -hmm. And when people are looking for a, a new vehicle, there's a couple things that we've seen. One, they're much more focused in on not just the car itself, the specific vehicle, the 2013 Corolla, but they're looking at, all right, there's 2013 Corolla, I can buy that from 15 different Toyota dealerships in a, in a given area. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the dealership. Tell me more about the reputation of that dealership. Tell me about, are they, do they have any special offers going on? So it's a very different process than if I'm looking for a 2008 Honda Accord, mileage, you know, under 15,000 miles, whatever the case may be at a certain price range, then I'm going to hone in on that vehicle. Mm -hmm. Here it's much more about, all right, if I've come to the point where I need to figure out, all right, I want that Corolla versus a Honda Accord or a Hyundai or whatever, give me the 15 dealers in the given area and tell me more about them from an online perspective. So it's a very different equation than the car as a star. It's more about the dealership plays a lot, much larger role in the reputation of that dealership. <laughs>